caring for your spa water is essential for your health, the life of the spa, and maximizing the satisfaction you will get from each soak. In this video, you will learn about chemical safety, main chemical types, and how to get your water spa ready. Once your spa is up to temperature, you can set up the water care. Keeping your water balanced and sanitized is important for your safety, the enjoyment of the spa and longevity of the spa components. You don't need to be a chemist to do this. All you need to do is set a routine and keep it consistent. Before we get started, there are a few points to keep in mind. Avoid the use of poor quality chemicals. This can lead to damage in your spa that is not covered by your spa warranty. Only use chemicals designed for use in spa pools. Use of pool chlorine, bromine, and other chemicals designed for swimming pools will not be as effective and can damage your spa, which is not covered under the warranty. Chemical safety. Always follow the safety, storage, and usage instructions on the chemical label. What are the main spa chemical types? and what do they do? There are three types of spa chemicals used with Vortex spas. They are sanitizers, shocks, and balance products. Sanitizer is used to keep the water clean, clear, and safe. These should leave a certain amount of residual sanitizer in the spa water. In Australia, only sanitizers that are APVMA certified can be sold. This stands for Australian Pesticides and Veterinary Medicines Authority. Look for an APVMA certification number on the label. Spa World also recommends using APVMA certified sanitizers for spa owners in New Zealand. Here are a few tips of what to look for when using chlorine-based spa sanitizer types. When it comes to chlorine, only use spa chlorine. Do not use chlorine sanitizers that are not specifically designed for spas, such as pool chlorine. They will not work with the higher temperatures and may damage your spa. Look for chlorine that is rated as a non-dangerous good as it will reduce the shipping time and cost when resupplying. Use granular spa chlorine and do not use floating dispensers as they can over sanitize your spa and cause damage to expensive components. This is not covered under the warranty. Do not turn jets on for at least 30 minutes after dosing the spa with chlorine-based sanitizer, as it can damage the spa acrylic. Spa World recommends spa store spa chlorine or BioGuard armor. Bromine. Vortex recommends that bromine only sanitizers are not used as they can damage the spa surface and components. Chlorine-free hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is an excellent product for those with chlorine allergies, asthma, or sensitive skin. There is also no chlorine itch. Hydrogen peroxide is classified as a dangerous good and shipping may take longer than other sanitizer options. It also requires that you handle it carefully and it can also be more expensive to use than chlorine-based sanitizers. Enzymes, chlorine-free. Vortex spas do not recommend these products as they can plug filters prematurely. This can lead to poor water clarity. Shocks are used to keep the water clear. A higher level of sanitizer can be used as a shock dose, but there are also specialized shock products that create fast oxidation of organic compounds. This will help with the water clarity. Chlorine and chlorine-free shocks are available. Main balance products. When a spa pool is balanced, it means the three basic pool water components, total alkalinity, pH, and calcium hardness, are within their correct levels. These three components work together to help the sanitizer work more effectively. The main balance products are alkalinity increase, pH decrease, and pH increaser. couple of do's and don'ts with using test strips. Do use test strips for balancing your water and don't use test strips for the sanitizer reading. Instead, you should follow the dosing instruction on the chemical container label. 
Unbalanced spa water can damage your spa pumps and heaters. That's why keeping your spa water balanced will go a long way to keeping your spa in top condition. Once the spa water is heated, use the test strips to test for pH and alkalinity. Wait at least 20 minutes after applying any balancer chemicals before testing again. Just a quick note about test strips. The ones that I'm using here are the six in one type and they take in six factors of water chemistry. There are also three in one or four in one options which are sufficient and can be purchased through spa store. So following the instructions on this container, I just need to make sure that I remove a test strip with dry hands. I then place it into the spa water, completely submerged. Remove, wait 15 seconds, and then I can place it against the color grade on the container. If the pH is out of balance, add alkalinity increaser, alkalinity up. If the pH is too high, add pH decreaser, pH down. If the alkalinity is too low, add alkalinity increaser, alkalinity up. If the alkalinity is too high, add pH decreaser, pH down. Do not use the test strips to monitor chlorine levels. Instead, use the daily dosing instructions on the back of the chlorine container. If you are using tank water, your water may register as too low on the hardness indicator on the test strips if the test strips factor this in. If this is the case, you will need to purchase and apply a hardness increase product from Spa Store. This product is usually not included in spa start kits. If you are using bore water, we recommend using a pre-filter on the hose that you are filling the spa with to reduce particulates. If your water tests as hard, you will need to purchase a water softener product from Spa Store. This product is usually not included in spa start kits. Please note that failing to follow dosing instructions can result in damage to your spa or unsafe conditions. Always pre-mix the chlorine with water in a bucket before adding it to the spa water. Do not turn on the jet pumps or clean cycle for at least 30 minutes after you have added the sanitizer. You can work out your spa literage by taking a look at the specification sheet for your spa model. Use a startup shock dose of 25 grams per 1000 litres of spa water. We recommend that for this first shock dose, you use spa store chlorine. See the sanitizer container label for the specific dosing instructions. Daily maintenance. Following the instructions on the sanitizer container label, dose your spa with spa store spa chlorine at 6 to 10 grams per 1000 litres of spa water. Handy tip, a regular teaspoon can hold around 4.5 grams. This spa contains nearly 1400 litres of spa water, so I will fill a container with spa water. Spoon three teaspoons of chlorine into the water until it dissolves, and then tip the contents back into the spa water. In the event of heavy spa use or water clarity issues, a shock dose of 25 grams per 1000 litres of spa water can be used. But there are also specialised shock products that create fast oxidation of organic compounds. This will help with the water clarity. See the label for the specific dosing instructions. Weekly maintenance. The first action is to balance your spa water. To test that the water is balanced, use a test strip following the instructions on the back of the test strip container. Adjust pH, alkalinity, and total hardness. Monthly maintenance. Remove and clean your pleated cartridge filters using the included cartridge cleaner. Please follow the instructions on the container. Micron filters found in Vortex and Jacuzzi spas cannot be cleaned and must be replaced at least every three months. Tip, if your water is cloudy, clean your filters more frequently. Clean spa cover and cabinet panels and use vinyl protectant. Three to six monthly maintenance. 
As a guide, spa water should be changed every three to six months for portable spas and 12 to 18 months for swim spas or as needed, or depending on factors including the number of spa users and hygiene. Remove the filters. Add pipe degreaser to your spa following the instructions on the back of the container. Drain your spa by following the draining procedure in your user manual. Be sure to rinse and wipe down surfaces. Restart by following the start procedure mentioned earlier in this video. To ensure that your spa cover lasts the distance, we recommend that every three to five months you wash the vinyl cover with mild detergent and water, and then treat with 303 Vinyl Protectant. Annual Maintenance. Pleated filters should be replaced every 12 to 18 months. For swim spas, use pipe degreaser. Drain and refill the spa and go through the restart process. The next step is to clean heat pump fins and then there is the general jet cleaning. Biannual maintenance. Replace UV lamp. We do have a video that guides you through the process of replacing the lamp. Are you wondering what handy pieces of advice that experienced spa users can pass on to first time owners? Well, you'll find that there's plenty of great tips and tricks to keep in mind. Expert tip one, put aside a set of swimmers or togs that are just for using in the spa. It's best not to put them through the wash, just hand wash them with clean water. By doing this, you will be able to avoid soap suds entering the spa water, which can create foam and impact the chemical balance of the water. Expert tip two, remove jewelry before entering the spa. Chemicals in the spa water could affect the appearance of jewelry. This will also help you avoid accidental scratches to the spa shell. Expert tip three, having a shower before entering the spa is another simple, handy tip to keep in mind. This will remove oils, detergents, sweat, body lotions, tanning products, and oil-based scents from your skin. Washing your feet will also remove debris that could enter the spa and circulation system. Expert tip four, avoid wearing sunscreen and makeup in your spa. Creams, powders, and oils can discolor, contaminate the water, and clog up the spa filters. So we recommend that you ditch the topical products and swap them out for a hat and sunglasses or a shade solution such as an umbrella or pergola. Expert tip five, consider partially or completely emptying and refilling your spa after its first month of use. The reason for this is that when people first buy their spa, they use it more than normal. By changing the water after the first month, you may find yourself using less chemicals to keep your water crystal clear. So you can spend more time enjoying your spa. Thanks for watching this video. For more information, you can head to the Spa World Learning Center. To learn the next step in the Vortex Spa Setup Guide, click the following link displayed at the end of this video.